If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular Tell me would you Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart Hi guys, it is 1.16 Monday morning, well I guess it's not morning anymore, I guess it's, I don't want my hair today, I guess it is, um, what am I trying to say, it's afternoon, and you guys saw I was in lecture for a little bit, and my voice is a little hoarse because I just celebrated my birthday this past weekend for like three days straight. I was just drinking tequila and because like alcohol is literally poison, I was throwing up everything. So now my voice is a little hoarse. Um, I think this is going to be the look today. I have lab at 1.30, it's 1.17 so definitely I'm running a little late, go me. But it's going to have to be okay. I don't know what dissection we're doing today. This is low-key a busy day. Thankfully, we only had one lecture day. Um, but yeah, I have a lab. Like I said, I don't really know what today's lab is supposed to be. Dog in here. I'm going to stay a little bit after lab. Ooh. I need to, to set this down. We have no natural light coming in this morning, this afternoon. Okay, I don't even know what I was saying. I was saying that I was gonna stay a little bit after lab because this week is like the MD1 Olympics. I'm honestly not gonna lie. I don't know why we're doing MD1 Olympics. I need to get my license. Don't get me wrong, like I'm down for the MD1 Olympics. I'm just saying like, I don't know if that is a like typical thing at my school or or if we're just doing it fun and to do it. I don't know, but today's the first day, Monday. It's wild and out night, and I think it starts like at 5.30. I'm honestly not gonna stay that long because I have so many things to do, and I feel like I was missing something else, but I don't remember. My blink, like it be doing a lot. It doesn't be working like it's supposed to. That's how somebody stole my packages. I don't know. I think the battery might be dead for it, but I don't know it's working. It's working now. But I was saying, yeah, I don't know if the MD1 Olympics are like a real ass thing, a real thing. I don't know. I'm going to go support, show up, but I really need to get some work done, catch up on some emails. I want to go to the gym because I feel like I haven't really been to the gym like before spring break and that's not good. That's how you get chunky. You just stay here sitting down. Let me show you guys these clips. This is from my party. <laughs> I um I'm always late to lab. This is very sad. I don't know why I do stuff like this. I just need help sometimes. <laughs> you guys, literally by the end of the day, I promise you, by the end of the day, I'm going to figure out how to file my taxes. I have never filed taxes before. Like, I don't understand why they don't teach you this in school because you can literally go to jail if you don't file taxes. But, like, I need to, I need to, like, get some money back. The fuck? That's what I need to do. Okay, let me plug up my phone. Oh, I also got a scholarship today, you guys. 
I'm gonna like put it right here, the notification. Originally, it was for like a $10,000 scholarship, which would have been tremendous for my student loans. Um, but I'm gonna take it, like any money is better than no money. And I'm super thankful that there was a donor who still wanted to give me something. So I think I'm gonna like put a, like a third of that into my Vanguard account because I think I mentioned before in like my last vlog that I want to start, um, I wanna start in investing a little bit so I think that's what I'm gonna do put it in my Vanguard and keep the other third because um, I have some other things that I have to pay off like my credit card so that's probably what I'm gonna do and I should stop vlogging and make my way to school because it's now 127 Hey guys, so clock in. It's 7.43 and I'm so tired. I have a really bad headache. My stomach kind of hurts and I'm just like exhausted right now. Today was a super long day for a Monday, I feel like. Where's my charger? Maybe it was kind of long because I'm not used to having lab on a Monday. I don't typically have labs on Mondays, but I did today. Um, I'm still in these scrubs. I'm tired. Um, but I've gotten a decent amount of stuff done. I've gotten a decent amount of stuff done on my notability today. So I talked to Kara. I was gonna do a game night for my birthday for my medical school friends. But because it's the MD1 Olympics this week and Saturday is the one MD2 class picnic, I just felt like with the game night, it would just be too much for people because we're already doing a full week of events. And I feel like I'm gonna be tired from the week and the picnic. I'm not really gonna wanna get a game night together. So I talked to Kara about that. I emailed my gross anatomy lab instructor to see if I could have a one-on-one -on -one this week. I specifically would want to go over the interior of the skull and the nerves and arteries of the, of the temporal region. I also emailed my neurobiology, neuroanatomy professor for a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm having a little bit of difficulties of understanding like eye movement. Um, we went over horizontal gaze last week, so I would like for us to go over that did my peer lab review for myself for last week. I hope they still accept it. They usually give us two days to turn in our like peer reviews and I always forget. But I did go ahead and do the peer lab reviews for today. I don't know why, like I just kind of feel bad now. Like I just, my stomach hurts, my head hurts, I'm tired. I just don't feel good right now. Um, But you know, we're, we're still gonna grind. To the wild and out night for about 30, 45 minutes. It was cute. Just have too much thing. I just have a lot of things to do. I, could, I didn't really want to stay that long. I left exactly at seven though, so I thought that was good. Um, I didn't review my lecture yet today. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I did do some gross anatomy and embryo prep through AMBOSS. Went to lab, I had my 11 a.m. lecture. So what I want to do next is review my lecture. I did review some of the eye motor lecture. Review the descending motor pathways. 
I want to do at least like 10 lip and cut BRS gross anatomy practice questions just to start getting like in the mood and feel for it. And I want to do my Anki embryo. I think I have it set to 50 new cards a day because my mini board is coming up for it. And gross anatomy is always the hardest for me. So I really want to start prepping for that um, more intensely because I think it's like in three weeks. Um, yeah, I really wanted to go to the gym today, guys. Don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to try to see if I can book something on ClassPass for tomorrow. Let's see if we can go to Solid Core. My girl Ariana, she's not teaching. I don't want to go to Solid Core on a Friday. Let's see about the daily. I haven't been to the daily. Daily at 9.45, I have a class. Daily Sculpt, 1.30. All of these are booked. Let's see, the Daily Iman part, 11. 8 p.m. tomorrow could be doable. So I'm gonna book the Daily tomorrow, 8 p.m. Because I think tomorrow, I know I don't have lab tomorrow. I have independent studies, so I was gonna go to the 8 p.m. tomorrow, should be fine. Okay, so we have something booked tomorrow. That makes me feel better. So yeah, I was just gonna go over today's lecture and kind of go over content from last week. And yeah, my head hurts so bad. I don't know why I just feel sick all of a sudden. I, I can't wait to get into the bed. They gave us pizza, so I don't really think I'm gonna make dinner or eat dinner because I just already feel kind of full, kind of bloated. I'm not interested in eating again, but I think I am going to change really quick. I might come back like at 8.15 and a minute, get all these clothes. Before we grind to like 9.30ish, be a good time. What do y'all think? I don't know. I think 9.30 sounds good. Okay guys, so it's 9.03 p.m. I'm actually starting kind of late. I took like a nice hour long nap. It was, I didn't take a nap, but I just chilled for an hour, but it was definitely needed. So we're going to review my lecture for today. I only had one lecture today. I really my camera was dirty. I only had one lecture today, thank goodness. And that was on the cranial autonomics. And we also didn't even really get to go through the whole lecture. So I'm like, yes, so I don't have to review the whole lecture because we have another class for that. Um, hopefully I can get this done around 9.30. I would say a lot of this was like a little new, a little bit of new material, but it was also kind of a little bit of review as well. So let's get into it. You've been watching me for a while. You know that I love, love, love to have my beats. I just feel like I can zone in a little bit when I can like just focus on one sound like that's coming from my beats. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but. Um, lately too, I think in like one of my last vlogs, I said I've been listening to Lana Del Rey. Um, currently right now, what I've been listening to for studying is Claire de Lune. I listen to Claire de Lune on repeat. I've always loved Claire de Lune. Um, and when I'm trying to get through something quickly, like it's not really distracting to listen to. So I've been listening to Claire de Lune. I actually might put on Lana Del Rey though. I can get interested in that tonight. Let me shut up. and I just finished going over my lecture for today. Um, trying to go to my notability course. Um, so yes, review lecture. I think next I wanna do my BRS lip and cock questions and then I'm just gonna briefly review my descending motor pathways. So what I have, I need to go over this. So what I have decided to do for this exam is I've decided to make a study guide. So when I review my lectures, because I try to review my lecture like the same day so I don't get behind, 
Um, so since I've been going to class this entire block so far, so technically after class, that should be like my second pass of that content. Um, so with my second pass, I've been creating a study guide. So when I review my lecture, I try to fit everything onto one page and I'm gonna use it for my study guide for the exam so I can just easily like go back and you know really make sure that I'm writing the main points and I'm reviewing the main points instead of like thousands of slides um, and I'm organizing it in a way that I like. So far I do like it because I fit everything into one page and I feel like you kind of getting the main concepts down. I would think of, like I think of it as if okay I'm if I have a page as a cheat sheet, what would I put on that one page? Um, and so as I'm also reviewing the lecture, I'm writing down any questions I have so I could take it to office hours or tutoring. And yes, yeah, kind of like tiring to talk. But this, um, this just does help me kind of mesh everything together and make sense of it. And as I'm going through it, I don't even know how I got behind. So yeah, literally I have to go over my descending motor tracks. I think that I just need to go over the cortical cobular for real. And for my one-on-one, -on -one, I wanted to do eye motor movement. Um, but yeah, I wanna go over my descending motor pathways. And because your girl is getting tired and she needs a break before she tries to understand all of that, that's why I want to go ahead and just do like my practice questions. Because I feel like practice questions, you know, they're kind of they're kind of chill. And honestly, guys, this is going to be a very important statement. I am not feeling too bad with the gross anatomy so far. Like, I don't know what it is, but the gross anatomy ear lesion gross anatomy it hasn't been it hasn't been scaring me like it typically does like this time i'm really in the lab this time like i'm in the lab i'm asking all of my questions I'm trying to understand it i've been doing a lot of gross anatomy practice questions as well for this time around and i don't know i gotta get it a little bit more for some reason like, I don't know, the head and neck just isn't, the head and neck doesn't feel too complex for me, honestly. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of liking the gross anatomy for this section, which is good because, you know, if I can do really good on the gross anatomy, do decent on the multiple choice, like I could really get like a B on this exam, honestly. And that is what I am aiming for. And that's why I have to do good on both sections of the exam because whenever we have practicals, that means that um, that means upper like 20% of our grade will be the practical. So like if I were to get like a 90 something on a practical, like a 80 on multiple joys, that's like an 85. I wouldn't be failing the class <laughs> anymore. So yeah, we're gonna do these head and neck practice questions, review the motor pathways, take a shower. I wanna have a snack, like some apples. I don't really want a full meal. And then I'll probably do my embryo Anki in the bed, go to sleep before. It's Tuesday and I'm definitely running late. But what is new? I was so tired yesterday. Like I had the best sleep, you guys. Do I have everything? I just didn't even want it to end. I think this is everything. Okay, so today I have two lectures. So I'll be done at 12.30. Today is also clinical preceptorship and thankfully I don't have clinical preceptorship. I had to volunteer at a student ran student like clinic January and that counts for my clinical preceptorship today. It's exactly, exactly nine o'clock so I'm not that late. I was saying clinical preceptorship technically did mine back in January. So it's a free afternoon for me and that's why I'm gonna go home right after these lectures. I'm not gonna stay here, I might take a nap chill since i have a whole afternoon to myself i text my boss to see about coming in for research this week she hasn't texted me back so i'm just waiting to see what days i can go in for research honestly so we should we shall see okay, so i'm back home I, it is 2 18 p.m i got out of class at 12 30. um i did to go to fudo which is my favorite sushi spot sure yum won't he do it <laughs> 
Oh, let me guys show you my sushi roll. This is the fantasy and this is Euphoria. For some reason, I thought that I really liked the Euphoria roll. I don't think I like it that much. It's okay. I definitely like the fantasy a little bit better. So I go to Fudu, Fudo. It's in Chambly. I feel like my sushi isn't like hitting the way it's supposed to right now. I don't know why. I went to Sam's Club to get some water. Thirsty horse, <laughs> aka my friends. They drank all of my water for my birthday party. And I don't have like a, my fridge doesn't dispense water. I went to Sam's Club, so I would not die from dehydration in here. I think after, I'm gonna start studying around like 3.15, maybe three o'clock. And really probably just go for the ear lecture today. Um, I already did a lot of stuff on, I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done eating, but I did a lot of stuff on my Notion. I think all that's left is like my practice questions and reviewing the lecture today. And then I need to do the Anki, Anki review. I'm trying to decide if I want to start the Anki from tomorrow's. I really haven't been stressing myself out too much with the Anki. Um, because I feel like, I feel like my new method of like fitting everything on the page helps me understand it conceptually better and like going over it a couple of times before going through the Anki. Helps me get through the Anki faster because it's like I know the material instead of just like trying to memorize the cards. So I feel like it makes it more of like spatial learning in that sense. I don't know if that makes sense. But I'm gonna eat my lunch. No, I always regret when I get two rolls. I'll like warn myself to don't order two rolls. It's gonna be too much for you. And I'd be like, no, like I'm hella hungry. I've just gotten one roll, you guys. Around, if you ain't close to me, I feel like them. It gotta work for me. Just cause I want you, don't mean I want you. I don't. You got some high hopes. Alexa, what time is it? Time is 7.41 p.m. So y'all heard Alexa. Nothing, Alexa, ignore me. I was taught never to ignore someone when they speak to me. <laughs> well, I have to go to Pilates. Um, Pilates place that I go to, it's not that far. It's maybe about 10 minutes away. So that's good. I use class pass, like I said, and I'll put my class pack link down below. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm gonna try to do this really quick because not only is my camera about to die but my battery my storage is almost gone but this is my wonder active set absolutely love this it feels like butter i don't know what color i have it in i'll probably put it in here or link it down below but it's so good like it makes my butt look really bubbly and kind of cute -y. I don't know. I be feeling like, okay. Today was a really chill day, you guys, but I definitely needed it. I did study and do, well, I didn't really study, but I did do some practice questions and boot camp questions and whatnot. Um, and I cleaned up my room and then I also put up these picture frames, Walgreens or whatever, and actually out of space on here. So I'm going to probably see you guys tomorrow because when I get back, it's guys it's wednesday i don't understand i don't understand why my shower makes so much noise i need to put in a little maintenance thing but it's wednesday it is 12 43 p.m this is what i'm looking like on this glorious wednesday i got this top from zara fun fact i just cleaned my sink and my mirrors i don't know why it's dirty maybe we should switch mirrors let's go to this mirror so as i was saying i just I got this top from Zara. Fun fact, I think that I wore it for my white coat ceremony and I just have on like these um, navy, kind of like skinny slim slacks, dress pants kind of thing. So today I have my symposium for my public health intervention and I'm gonna like which vlog it was, but we basically did a health fair back earlier last month and so we had to we're going to present our findings and we put it on a poster board so today is a symposium and yeah i had two lectures today i had a 9 a.m lecture and i had an 11 a.m lecture but i just stayed home and watched the lectures from zoom primarily because i wasn't prepared <laughs> to go to the symposium like i wasn't packed got my snacks because Thank you. Thank you, ADT. Just because I have a suture clinic at 5.30, so it's like right after the symposium, I have to go to the suture clinic. It's like wasn't prepared for everything. So I just stayed here and got ready. 
I think I'm gonna be a little late, but they should have known better. Like we have to be there right after class. It's just very unrealistic because you we have to dress professionally, get our things together. Lunch better be provided or I'm gonna be very upset. But yeah, let's go to the symposium. It took me forever to get here. So, we have to use hand sanitizer though, of course. Y'all, I have like really nasty lunch and I haven't eaten anything all day, all day today. I feel very faint now, like I have to eat. So I went to Chipotle because I want a gift card at the symposium. So I really love that for myself. Um, I need to text Megan, cause I saw that Megan had this Anki deck. Let me text her. So it's 419 and suture. I'm still in this clothes, these clothes. I was gonna go home and change. I was like, if I go home and change, I may not want to come back and I need to. But like I said, the suture clinic is at 5:30. I'm actually kind of excited for that. So I'm just going to study until then since it's here. Um, this is what I've done today so far. So I did text the guy about my car and my appointment is next Saturday. So I did the survey link for community health, lip and cock questions, gross anatomy, um, mini board prep. The short has been uploaded, went to the 9 a.m. lecture, went to the 11 a.m. lecture and the symposium. All that I have left today is I'm gonna study for the neuro quiz tomorrow, go to the suture clinic, donkey for yesterday's deck, and 10 chat GPT questions on decenting tracks. I feel like this is hard. Um, I think though what I'm going to do is I'm gonna watch camp video associated with yesterday's lecture which we talked about the ear sometimes chipotle is such a bus they forgot to give me my fork and there's no napkins in here and it's like going on um but yes yeah, so i was saying i think i'm gonna watch the video on the ear because we went over it and we don't have a dissection for it but i I'm probably still am going to have to like learn it so i think that's what i'm going to do like I broke my nail, you guys, and it's broken right on the nail bed. It hurts so bad, like so bad. I had to take ibuprofen last night because it was just in pain. It hurts so bad. But whenever my nail breaks all the way down there, I like to give it a couple of days before I go to the nail salon because it's gonna hurt really bad when they remove it. But I'm just studying, so after the suture clinic, I can go home. Hey. Yeah. Someone to be patient with me Someone to get money when I take it from me uh, They don't even need to be as famous as me I don't think I meet them at the places I be But deep down I think about you all day, mommy I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy Say what's on your mind Yeah, I'll